Good luck. This marks the beginning of Season 4, Tourney to Master, the third iteration of the Tourney to Master tournament. Uh, it's played at a 15 minute time control with 60 second Yoyomi. And therefore, um, this is kind of quick, uh, but we'll find a way to play it well. Oh, it just dawned on me that with this gold placed up like that, my normal shot against this pawn doesn't work. So I've already bungled it, um, but I survived, and we'll continue to survive here. Jeez. Um, narrate less, play better moves. The considering gold up, king over. King over immediately fronts into this bishop fork. Um... I myself do not have a bishop fork. Yeah, so even though I play this with a live stream audience, uh, emotes only mode is enabled to prevent me from gaining any advantage from having a live viewership. Um, hmm. Interesting. Still going to keep the king and the rook separate, even if uh, much of what I'm planning I still have to figure out. That doesn't look right. I've fallen for stuff like this before. Um. It's taking all of my patience to find a reasonable move here where I would normally just attack with complete abandon, excitement, recklessness, whatever. Um, I don't think my rook and bishop attacking by themselves are enough. considered bishop drop here, bishop drop here, could not find a way to force this tactic to win. Um. All right. Um. That's interesting. Well... I might be a victim of a tactic here, and it's my fault. Um, all right, we're going to just play aggressively 
and ignore the fact that they get to promote early. That looks to their advantage. But, I don't know. I can bishop drop. I can strike back here. I can hit this point. Um, I've been considering earlier this pawn advance, but then after pawn takes bishop drop, they could counter with a bishop drop. They can no longer, they no longer have such a counter. So this pawn advance looks strong. Um, so we'll go with my earlier idea and then promote our bishop, win their lance attack their king that's in the center. And not a minute of calm will be found. The real question is, after they defend this, do I take it? Do I drop my bishop? Do I have some other good, reasonable way to attack here? Also, how do they defend it? All right, this was my plan. I'm sticking with the plan. I need to be careful and mindful of which pieces I exchange at this time. We have diverged from theory, at least that I'm aware. But it doesn't seem bad, does it? Nah, at least to me it doesn't. So I was not able to, like, target this pawn with my bishop and target something else. Ah, okay. They are selecting a rapid attack. Um, my silver is loose. They could easily force me to move my silver. And, well, what do I do? Yeah, that's dangerous. All right. Um, well, if I take the lance, they pawn drop. I drop the lance here. Um, the bishop moves, right? Bishop's going to move to this diagonal. My silver will still be attacked. Nothing's defending my rook. Uh, we're going to stick with this. I don't see any better approach here. It's 
So I've been pretty single-minded in this pursuit of getting this bishop promoted. And it is promoted now. And it's not going very far. Um, I want to put my lance on the center file. Oh, I see. They could retreat their bishop if they prepare this retreat. If they spend one move to prepare that. Um, I could put my lance here to hit the silver. I don't know. It's still odd that my rook is just hanging. Um, hmm. All right, do I want the lance here? I think I do. Seems like a very good score for the lance. If I put it here and I pick up the silver, that my horse is still stuck in the corner. Um... Yeah, I think I need this. So once this moves, then I could consider running with the silver, or even exchanging silvers here. Oh. Okay, this is possible. Um, they do win a silver for um, this horse. Interesting. Well, my rook is exposed, and if I don't take this horse, bad things happen. Um, hmm. Staying rational in the heat of battle is difficult. Um, yeah, no, my rook's just not going to manage to promote here. All right, we will take this, and we'll follow this by taking this knight. And hopefully said knight will help us attack somehow. So I'm attacking the base of the silver. Um, my king is not in the greatest spot ever. I've had better. They want to keep their silver. They don't want to spend it. Like, I mean, it's good for them to defend their king with the silver, but they'd rather attack with it if they could. Meanwhile, I have a bishop. I could use the bishop to strike this gold and then put a knight and also hit the gold. But then it would just climb up here. So I'm not winning this gold general if I do that. Oh, a knight drop would hit this gold and would hit the center pawn. That looks useful. That looks more, well, I was going to say that looks more useful than just taking this knight, but I wouldn't have the knight drop if I didn't take the knight. Alright, so yeah, they use this to defend their king. 
Um, hmm. Okay, despite what a mess this position is, I can still gain a tempo. Um, mm, it's going to drop it here, hitting this, hitting that, covering this. It looks best. I don't like it. My lance drop is kind of... It's still awkward. I don't like it. Um, I could check and promote. This promotion threatens taking here. That looks sensible. I don't have another move order to do something like... Like, if I promote, if they silver take, that... My bishop pin, the silver hits my bishop, so like, I don't have some other move order to pull off a similar attack. Oh, wait, if I pin... Okay, I can't promote this right now. Um... Oh, wait, this this is loose. Um, yeah, I think this is the best I can manage here. Protect against a rook drop here that would immediately pick up the knight. Um, while pinning this gold, so that if they do a rook drop, it's going to be on this back row instead. Um, it hits this gold general, which I may or may not sacrifice to take. Uh, it wants me to threaten this knight drop. Um, and while I've got all those ideas spinning, uh, this horse takes pawn might also be possible. And if somehow they defend against everything, I just take this, I guess. Or I might find a way to... I don't know. I wanted to do this check, but... Checking doesn't seem to gain me anything. I probably misread something. Yeah, if I check and block, I could have actually put a second piece attacking this. And that would have been strong. Um... Alright, so now they're picking up a knight. Hmm, why do I make my task more difficult? Knight drop, knight takes, silver takes, plan takes, silver takes, I take here. This is what I've been, oh, they have this attacker too. Ah, uh, I should have pushed the pawn first. I am not reading well today. Well, thankfully, even if the gold advances, it's not as if it can take my knight. 
So this move order doesn't seem to lose anything, but I'm just playing with fire here. This next pawn promote, silver takes. Then we take here twice, then we take there. We're hitting the silver, we're threatening. If I could get a gold, I'd be threatening a gold drop mate. Uh, and I can get the gold. Do we push this first? I think we push this first. Yeah, this has to be right. Since, like, nothing else works, this has to work. It's not sound logic, but it's very emotional. Um... So at some point, I don't know if I do this before or after I take the center pawn, but I want to do bishop takes gold. Um, my knight's pinned. Um, I don't know if move order matters here. I don't think it does. think this is reasonable. A knight is not going to help them defend against this sort of attack. I think next bishop takes, then lance takes. That way they don't get the lance. Well, though they are going to get the lance by the time I do a horse takes here. They will get that. I just want to make sure I have this um, gold general in hand when I need it for this gold drop mate. Um, Lance takes, silver takes, horse takes. I have a silver in hand. They drop something. Lance here or something. To, I don't know. Um, no, they bring the silver back and I don't have this drop mate. Um, Okay, if I take here first, silver takes, and the rest of my combination fails, so I have to take here first. A bishop is a great attacking piece, a horse is an excellent defensive piece. A bishop is not a good defensive piece. So that's how I'm justifying if I sack here and try to mate. Um, might be a burger and fries short of a happy meal, but um, 
still looks like the right thing to do here. So I'm hitting the silver, threatening gold drop mate. Hitting this silver. I have a silver drop, maybe. I think the problem though is if they raise this gold, like what do I do? It pulls their castle back into one piece. And I seem to not have a counter. Although maybe I could chase their rook or something. I don't know. Still looking. Um, okay, they shut off my mate in one threat. Got three generals in hand. They've got a lot of pieces in hand. <sighs> um... Man, this is tricky. Think this is reasonable. <sighs> this is going to be very difficult. Very, very difficult. As I mean, okay, well, it's not so bad because their rook is trapped. It's a target. But still. I've not left myself a very good foothold to get into their position. So silver, silver, gold, I think is my plan.
Oh, but they could just defend the square with the knight. Um, I need another token, but I don't have time. Yeah, this entire sequence was not very smart. So I'll just have to play patiently and wait for my next opportunity. And seize it when it comes. Um... Okay, well, I have a crazy idea. He says after sacrificing all his pieces. Now, my crazy idea doesn't add up. My crazy idea does not at all add up. Um, normally you'd want to hold the golden reserve. Here I play this because my horse and silver complement each other. And I'm giving him something to think about. I'm also trying to shoot to hit this gold and somehow end up where I can pick up the gold here with a silver fork. Um, it's unwise. But I am out of wise things to try at this point. Yeah, they didn't need to take my gold. I mean, a gold general is useful for defense, but how useful is it? I don't think it's more useful than a free move. Uh, they're attacking my promoted silver. Um, options. This, oh, they're also threatening mate. I need to be careful about that. Um, hmm.
30秒40秒50秒12345689 That's surprising. Okay, we'll deal with the mate in one threat in a way that maximizes my ability to make new threats. Thirty-five. 30秒。then advance any of my silvers and try to chase the king, but it doesn't mate. So if they hit my horse, I might have to just move it closer to their king. What? Um. Okay. My king is not super safe here. I don't see their mate though.
I think my silver barely has me covered. I plan bishop drop, and then silver takes here mate. So they better have mate. One of us is going to checkmate here. Or I'm going to get to put a pawn down and actually defend my king. Also, my king doesn't have to run out, does it? It should, but... Again, my idea of bishop drop, silver takes. Possibly also bishop drop, gold drop, king t or horse takes, drop here takes, rook takes, 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 rook drop. No, rook drop there is not good, but gold drop, king retreats, rook drop. They interpose with something. If I had one more piece. Oh. Uh, Sanju Sanjubiop 
It's a very emotional game. That drop was too heavy. I could have just retreated this. I am just not seeing my mate here. ご ご30秒 All right, nicely played. Thanks for the game. Oh, that was uh, stressful. Holy moly, that was stressful. Uh, we got through it, though. <sighs> yeah, jeez. So that's round one of Tourney to Master. Uh, I hope there was something. <laughs> uh, so I guess, oh, I guess, uh, 
we'll review the game from somewhere. I know people love to fixate on the end of the game, but that's not where the most improvement takes place. Um, so here, um, I s for, uh, forgot this is defended. Um, so this actually doesn't seem to work. Um, so like, this is not a good way for me to have started the game. There might be some theory there that I've uh, not accounted for. Um, all right, I had mates somewhere. All right. Um, I guess we'll give him the hat because he's so excited about showing this checkmate. So this check, okay. This check. Um, eight and five. Saw this pawn takes. Like, what do I do here? Saw this. I assume they just, like, lance drop or something. Where's the mate? Um. I mean, surely I missed a mate, but, um, that's just why I'd suggest we focus on the earlier part of the game. Because, like, spectators are saying, there's mate in five somewhere on move 67. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't surprise. My bishop drop was much too heavy. So there's a mate here somewhere. Um, I mean, if I had to guess... Oh. That's kind of interesting, but I don't think that works either. Anywho, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the game. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be posting the entire post-game analysis in the video, because neither of us seem to be able to find this mate, and I'm unable to conduct my post-game analysis until my opponent lets us do it. So, hope you all enjoyed this very exciting start to the Tourney to Master. Yeah, there's probably a mate here somewhere. Well, let, we'll let him continue playing with himself here for a bit until he gets tired of it. Yeah, when people said there's a mate here, I thought it's got to be the other silver, because anything else would be too heavy. And then this drop... Okay. Oh! Oh, that's clever. That is beautiful. That is a work of art. Yep. Yeah. This almost justifies my insane attacking ideas, but not quite. My insane attacking ideas are still insane, but, you know, we just accept that. So yeah, strong shogi players do recommend starting an analysis from the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't have too much to add at this. I know this is the most exciting part. This is the part everybody enjoyed the most because my crazy sacrifices don't seem to have amounted to anything. And it's especially enjoyable in the post-mortem to s just look over all the different ways you could have won the game. Um, but you don't learn anything from doing that. 
or I mean, you don't learn as much as if you were to like do what the strong players do, which is collaborate from the beginning of the game, looking at um, things throughout the course of the game, and then um, eventually you'll get to a point where you are analyzing the end of the game together. But it's not the only point you do in the analysis. You make sure that the rest of the game does get analyzed. So I think that's the point. It's a measure of politeness. And I get it, we're amateurs. Um, and as amateurs, like, we don't necessarily understand everything that pros understand. If we had their depth of knowledge and experience, of course, we do things the same way they do. But everybody does things a bit differently. Um, yeah. I know. Uh, I suppose I could tell him. Um, yeah, let's. In fact, there is a button here. Can we analyze from the beginning? I think the answer is no, but, you know, we could ask. <laughs> he saw me trying to analyze from the beginning, but okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a lot going on in this game. And I'm not meaning to pick on Archon in particular. I can comment further later about that. Yeah, because of this fork, I walked right into it, right? So I have to play this, and then this, and this. Yeah, I always get scared of castling when I see opposing rook lined up right against it, but um, I have to do something about it. Because otherwise I get this bishop dropped to the face, and it's painful. Um, so... We got this painful variation, and I almost dug myself out of it, but, um... Yeah, this was nice. Yeah, without this, I'd be up a creek without a paddle. Not sure how that translates into Australian, but, um... But, yeah, it's kind of important to... Um, make sure you have some way to activate your pieces. Uh, yeah, so this retreat allowed me to pressure a position. Um, the silver advance, yeah, no, it's consistent with what I might have done here. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure... Wait, no, they actually, they played the silver forward in the game, but had they retreated it, yes, I get this pressure. Hmm. I get pressure either way. So, had they retreated the silver, I might have done this fork to exchange my horse for the bishop. And open up this hole here. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not so sure. So, um. Oh, really? We. I mean, we could consider this. Oh, sh shoot. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if he sees this or not, but, okay, he does see it. Yeah. So, yeah, in the game, my lance uh, drop didn't look right. But maybe somehow I could prevent this. Um. So the other idea is like dropping the lance here. Um, 
You could also consider this. This, yeah. This might have been the right way for me to approach. But, man, I don't know. Um... So, like, you take here, I guess I take this, uh, uh, yeah, it looks tricky. Not sure what's going on. Uh, yeah, we both got out of book in the opening. That's a good point. Um... <laughs> Neither of us really built something secure for our king to hide in. Um, so it's kind of hard to say how this would have gone. Um, yeah, like my horse is sitting in the corner. I want to attack, but yeah, it's such a mess. Oops, we'll follow their position. See what they think about this. The thing is, you can't, like, once both players have started a mutual attack, it's rare to find time sl to slow down and go back and build a castle afterward. Yep. Welcome. So yeah, I didn't like my lance drop, but that's what I... Oh. This is interesting, too. Um, could this not just be taken? I'm not sure what I would do after that. So yeah, I've picked up a knight, and I kind of like having a knight, but I'm not sure this is quite enough. Um... I don't know, it's a bit tricky, I suppose. But, like, the key point through all this... Um, let's see. Is that this rook is stuck. Yeah, and so... Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good defensive move. Right, I was concerned about that. Oh, really? That's aggressive, but maybe justified. Probably justified here. Um, yeah, this is more like what I was looking at. But either way, I don't think my lance drop is my best move here. It would have been better for me to try to expel the silver that defends the king. Um, yes, yeah, this is just a tough position. Well, uh, yeah, no, this is just a tough position. There's no tricks here. Well, there might be a trick here. Um, man, there's just one more detail in every variation. But, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well, okay, yeah, I guess that's legal to add another silver. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. You have to be careful when... Uh, it's fun to add pieces, but this isn't Bug House. There's a limited number of pieces you have to attack with. You can't just ask your partner for more pieces. So, like, the silver would have been nice to attack with. Now you don't have it to attack with anymore. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure it does. So, like, instead of this, you could just pull back, right? Is there some issue here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
My attack uh, looks slightly too slow here. Again, earlier I was not meaning to pick on Archon. It's just that most amateur players, I don't know, at least half of them I've met, like to analyze the way he is analyzing. Uh, it's not his fault. This is just how amateur players tend to think. Um, like, there's just a lot going on in a game of Shogi, and it's very difficult to figure out when to evaluate and when to read a position out. Uh, yeah, so what? We got Silver 8 5. Yeah. This looked uh, strong for you. Um, like, my rook is stuck. Uh, my silver is stuck. I don't really know. Uh, so is yours. So, um, how do I demonstrate that this is okay or like um i mean yeah you don't want to stick a horse into the corner but um yeah um yeah i kind of i was looking at this Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Because as enticing as this looked to me for him, because like the silver's never getting into the game. This pawn is stuck. Um, as enticing as this appeared for him, uh, at least in my eyes. Um, I don't really see a way he can press an attack here. Um, that's just what I was concerned about during the game. Yeah. So even though like my attack is completely stuck, there's nothing he can immediately attack here. He's got a really strong castle. My silver is out in no man's land, but maybe someday I can maybe attack something. Um, oh, chess? Uh, I don't know, maybe later. Perhaps. But yeah, it looks like... Not entirely sure how this goes. So yeah, if I take the lance, that's definitely that. Um, I don't suppose this works, right? Oh wait, uh, sorry, I forgot about... I don't know. Yeah, maybe this does function. It looks difficult. But this whole position's been pretty topsy-turvy. They've got a promoted uh, bishop. Um, oh, right, so they can attack this directly. Uh, yeah, I forgot. This is, I mean, as distant as that is from the castle. Yeah. Uh, so this can't be right. Um, I was hoping to have some show of force demonstrating why this is good for him, but horse takes eight seven. Um, is there anything else we can try here? Hmm. Yeah, well, 
like with I was attached to my rook, wasn't I? Yeah. That's surprising. But I have this lance in hand, which is better than I thought it was. Because I could actually use that and the horse to approach this from the side and promote this and slowly get things underway. Um, oh yeah, this is another variation. I'd started to look at this during the game. I didn't like this silver pawn shape, but maybe it's fine. Um... Because I don't see anything I can immediately do to harass this. And they, their castle is weaker than I thought. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. I guess, in summary, this pawn drop he did on 7-5 lost a move. And I completely panicked over looking at stuff like this. Um, yeah, I was seeing stuff like that too, but there's just barely ways to deal with every little detail here. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen most of these tactics where the lance just magically defends against everything the rook is threatening. So, as much as I was on high alert for this sort of stuff, like... Um, I wonder, what about this one? Hmm. I guess there's this, then. Yeah, wow. Uh, so it's surprising to me, like, there's no effective place to drop the rook. Ah. Uh, oops. Well, somehow I navigated the move list there. But, yeah. I guess that is what it is. Uh, whoops, you want to go back here. Um, yeah, perhaps this here is premature, because... The silver advance seems to have everything covered. Yeah. That's nuts. Um, yes, I panicked quite a few times in the opening, in the middle of the game, and in the end game. Although there was only one critical shot I missed in the end game, but um, there's probably other ways I could have made my end game less painful. Um, hmm. So we'll get back to this later. Um, so, ah, this attack was so close. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't think it. For quite a few reasons, this attack doesn't seem like it works. Um, oh, wait. Oh, this is interesting. Shoot. I missed that. 
Yeah, this actually seems to hold. Um, like, just barely, it seems like my stuff holds together. Or this king is, like, you got a rook, a gold, a silver surrounding it, and you're about to collect more pieces to attack me with. Hmm. I don't really have a way to get more pawns promoted there. Yeah. Uh, this taking a knight didn't seem well-timed. Um, I mean, generally, running is a good idea, so that's fine. I mean, I did half expect him to take here, but he did. Like, um, it just accelerates my attack, or whatever I have of an attack. Um, not sure about this. Um, yeah, so like, your uh, silver takes gold seems to speed up my attack. Because then you have to spend a move responding, where previously you had this covered and then you don't, all of a sudden. Um, I know I was, like, fainting as if I had threats. F-E-I-N-T-I-N-G. But I'm not sure, like, I have any... Um, yeah. I think maybe you could ignore it somehow. Uh, yeah. I think it looked scarier uh, than it was. Like, even this seems to hold against it. Um, I have no idea how I continue an attack from here. Um... Okay, this hits this gold. Um, well, hang on. Okay, yes, that's fair. Yeah, no, that's right, that's right, sorry. Um, but somewhere you're going to get that bishop drop threat, and it's going to pick up the gold general eventually. Um, not sure when, but it's going to happen. It's just a question of when that happens. Um, now against this, can't I just do that? Is there some trick here I'm missing? You don't have a gold general just yet. And even if you did, I don't think one would be enough here. Okay, now you've got a gold general. Um, I guess we pick this up and continue running. It's just fearless here, but um, seems reasonable. Uh, okay, so now we got to find the mate to justify all my earlier hyper-aggression. Um, but still. Now, this is what I was planning, too. Um... Oh, why he wanted the extra knight. Okay, see, at this point, I can't 
get a goal to defend with. My king ability to run is kind of bad there. Okay, so this is why he wanted the extra knight. That makes sense. So I have to do something about that. Um, How do I defend against this? Well, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, wait. Yeah, hang on. I'm not sure about that. Maybe this one over. Yeah. I'm guessing something like this perhaps might be best. Um, it makes sense, yeah. But having extra pieces could help checkmate, but it's not a guarantee. Um, I wonder what I can try here. Um, <laughs> oh, well, okay, so... Have I messed up again? Maybe. Um, or maybe this is okay. It doesn't look okay, but their own king is in some peril. So this might be fine. Probably not, but I'm curious. Um, hmm. Yeah, looks like they found another successful attack here. Um, yeah, I'm surprised just how many ways there are to checkmate this king. So, I missed my one shot this game. <laughs> um, right, so I played... What I had to with my king. Um, yeah, and evidently this doesn't quite work because of this shot, which I missed. Yeah, and then I had to do this bishop drop, and then this uh, horse mate out of nowhere is there. Um, that was quite a sad miss. I do wonder if there were other shots too, but one is enough. One definitely does it. Oh, thanks uh, for the game. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, have a nice day. All right, cool. So, yeah, um, a lot of stuff happened this game. Again, I'm not meaning to pick on him for the way the analysis of the beginning I got done. Um, Thanks, uh, see to you. Good luck with the rest of the tournament. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we're both one on here. We'll do our best. Uh, this is turning to master. It's a very difficult tournament. Um, yeah. All right. We set our piece there. Now let me try to proceed with analysis of what we've got left. So we did skip through a couple things a little bit quickly here. Um, so yeah, he did point out like my uh, my silver advance against this pawn drop actually would have been fine because their own king is in a bit of a pickle. 
uh, here I did this promotion. I was not convinced that like what I did here was sane. But quite the contrary. Um, but oh yeah, here this is the move I was concerned about, where like they've pulled their castle together and they have everything covered. So I couldn't find anything here and I was really panicking. And I think the reason I was panicking is because I'm just dead lost. So if they'd found this move, I would not have had a shot here. They didn't find it. Uh, but yeah, as they were pointing out, because of that, um, I mean, other move order concerns seem not to matter. Um, so I was trying to finesse this somehow, and there's just not a finesse to have. There's just no way to forcibly break this without a little bit of opponent's cooperation. Which means... Um, how do I attack here? I don't know. I was so proud of this bishop drop. It's not good. Um, I was considering this bishop drop, but when I looked, I saw this, and they still have the square covered, and I didn't see a way to exploit this gold here because, like, how do I approach? Uh, well, this is a way to approach. But they can defend this way. Um, but then I can apply more pressure. But then I... Yeah. Actually, this... That seems strong. So this idea is not great. So they have to go this way instead. And because of that, then I can approach here. This is like the focal point of the game, in my opinion. Um, where... I've actually justified some of my crazy play. And yeah, they have counterplay, like, okay, yes, my bishop's loose, um, so this is perilous. But, like, i kind of justifying my aggressive play so far by continuing to play very aggressively. Um, doesn't mean it's going to work, but it seems to have a shot. Um, is there some other way? So during the game I was also looking, could I do do this? And then if I did this, I could try that, and then do this. Um, that doesn't seem to work at all. Um, maybe I need to approach this way. Um, I'm not sure. But I think what this all comes down to is that the slants drop was just a bad, bad idea. And keeping the lance in the hand would have been quite powerful. Um, so, like, they could pick a direction to move with the horse. Um, but if they go this way, this forces me to drop the lance. But it also puts their horse off sides here. So... Um, I'm not sure how to evaluate this. I think overall I played just too aggressively here without really knowing what I was up to. But, uh, yeah, I think he handled this reasonably. Uh, in the postmortem he was showing, like, oh, if I play this, then beware, you might have something like this, I might have to do that, and then after this approaches, he was concerned about something. We never quite got there. Um, I know I was concerned about stuff like this uh, bishop getting under attack or just not being able to be a very effective bishop. Um, so I'm not sure how this would have proceeded. So I'm not sure the bishop drop there is that great. We both messed up this opening quite a bit, but I think we had an exciting game in spite of our failings. 
Um, yeah, I think this would have been a more interesting way to proceed because it hits something that's loose. This is actually defended by that. Hitting this defended point didn't really do much for me. But even stronger, as my opponent, opponent pointed out, was this. Um, so we had that. We missed that. We missed a lot of things. Uh, we did some trades here. And we're very fortunate that our opponent panicked. Um, they hadn't managed... I mean, they'd had three extra minutes on the clock where I was in Bioyomi. So they hadn't used those three minutes to find the best move. Um, I played this to try to force them to panic. Because I'm just out of things to do here. They obliged. And then they came up with this, which looks scary. Um, I came up with this, which looks scary. And I respond to their threat. Uh, note, of course, that if I move my gold general somewhere, they could eventually... In fact, during the game, I'd read out this gold drop here. Um, and then checkmate. Either piece could take. So I can't move the gold away. Uh, at least not that way. So, yeah, this seems to be the way to counter the bishop attack. Um, and that's what I played. And they retreat. And I played this. And yeah, they. this is the thematic way to continue breaking the castle. Now that I've exposed the silver, uh, do something to attack it. And maybe here... This might have been where I blew it. I mean, this is one of many points where I blew it, but still. Like, this would have really asked, okay, what are you up to? I'm sure there's other such positions. So, yeah, after they panicked sometimes, I had some chances. They had some chances. I, yeah... We're both amateurs. Um, we both, after the game, saw this post-mortem idea. Um, or saw this mate in five in the post-mortem. Um, I took here with the silver, which was wrong. Um, yeah, if I'm going to try something, I need to try this. Where my pieces defend each other. Um, but also earlier... Yeah, when I did this bishop drop, that's silly. I started looking at this during the game and couldn't figure it out. I started looking at this during the game, couldn't figure this out either. Uh, and this might be promising. So, um, so if I knight drop, there, I don't think they exchange knights here. And then if I check with a bishop or drop a bishop or something, feels like there's got to be something going on. Oh, I mean, if I exchange knights, that's tricky. Um, there's a lot going on here. So I was concerned if I dropped the horse back they would try to win my horse somehow, which doesn't seem that important in the big picture. Yeah, I didn't think such a horse check would help me out. Um, I don't know. Engines are good at this sort of thing. Um, well, I, I can't feel too bad, because that was a really weird mate um, involving the king coming out, uh, dropping a bishop, and then checkmating with a horse in the center of the board. Like, I kind of accept that that's kind of hard for me to find right now. Later I might find it, but right now that's kind of hard for me. Um, yeah, so... I was also during the game trying to find like some fork to allow me to defend on my back rank. 
but I can never drop a pawn anywhere between this, because, like, uh, there's Nipu rules. So the only place I could drop a pawn would be here, and I just don't have a way with the bishop fork hitting this square. Um, I considered, I don't know, this, which I'm sure has some temporary benefit, but I think I'm in trouble here. Uh, I've given away my best attacking piece if I do that, so I can't really do that here. Um, this is too heavy. If I'm going to do anything, uh, what to do? Yeah, like his pawns protect against my knight drop and just like this perfect way. It's really tricky. Oh, here's a thing. Yeah, this might have been fine, too. I was concerned about giving away my silver, and maybe I need the silver to continue the attack or to defend my king. But my king can defend itself in the center of the board here. It's really weird, but it looks okay. Even if they take here, like, everywhere I've got covered. So there isn't a need for me... Ah, uh, I'm sorry. If I do this, they just take my gold general. But still, like, this buys some time for me to find a move, I guess. It doesn't really help me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I make progress here. Meanwhile, they are threatening to, like, try to get their king escaped somewhere. Um... Bishop drop 6-4 is just so heavy. Taking another piece doesn't seem to help me. Yeah, I still like this. But what about that? And this, but what about that? Oh, and then this. So if they take, we exchange a lot of pieces. Probably I mate. I uh, take this way. Um, I'm not sure if I may actually. Let's just check. King moves somewhere. And if we sacrifice this, then we check here somehow. No, the king escapes. I can't give away the horse. Um. Yeah, so I was right in not forcing that issue. Yeah, if I had a gold general, that would be great. I already gave mine away. And now I understand just how important it is to keep one of those. Um, yeah, I don't know. Engines will figure this stuff out. I should practice simpler things because this is over my head and I'm not going to learn much from it, even if I find it interesting. And my opponent found it very interesting too, but uh, the way the game concluded, uh, yeah, I walked into a mate. So there's no need for me to block here at this point. This is checkmate. Um, so this non-check move, like, I didn't have any good checks here anyway, but... The non-checking move was too much. Um, yeah, I guess if I needed to defend, a defensive move here might have been something like this. And then if they take, I can maybe do that. Um, but still, I'm in trouble. So, yeah, engines can figure this out. Um, in BOYO me, I just couldn't. And while there are many exciting combinations toward the end of the game, it's really a lot of the decisions that led up to this point that made it... Well, he has two golds, a silver, and a dragon, and three pieces in hand, chasing my king. Whereas, like, I'm kind of sort of maybe threatening to check him, maybe someday. But if, like, he hadn't played this gold drop, I don't know, he could let's, like, play this, right? This looks impressive, but it's not impressive. 
doesn't actually do anything. It just looks scary. So uh, kudos to my opponent for actually finding a checkmate. Um, defending well to get up to this point. I mean, yeah, there were better defenses, better attacks that both of us could have had, but it was an exciting way to start off uh, the tourney to master uh, season four. That was the first round. Uh, hopefully I'll do better in future rounds. Um, yeah, I've got to study more. I've just been swamped. I, I need to study. Um, if I'm going to play this sharp stuff, I need to practice it more often and study it more often. If I'm going to play like fourth file rook, that's something different. But, um, my fourth file rook has not been going particularly well. So I've switched back to playing third file. And I don't blame that for this loss, but I just need to, whatever I play, study it a bit more and be prepared. So uh, we'll see how if I can do better in future rounds. Uh, again, I didn't mean to make fun of my opponent for fixating on the end of the game. A lot of opponents do this, both in here and on other sites, both in chess and in shogi. And it's just... Uh, a mistake many amateurs make is to ignore the rest of the game and fix say that well if i just saw that one thing that's the chess player thing chess players do that a lot if you want to reach expert in chess not that i've done that but if you want to do that you need to dismiss this prejudice that well if i just seen the one tactic i it would have been fine no it there's more than one thing that leads to an outcome. And such is the case here. Such was the case in Season 2 where I last participated. Um, and we'll see if I can improve, because um, we're going to be playing against a lot of strong players. The minimum rating... I'm sorry, there is no minimum rating for the tournament, but I think the lowest rating of a player in this section is 1,500. Um, so... Hopefully, we'll, we'll try to stay at 1 down. We'll try to stay over 1,500. We don't derank if we do. I mean, on the site, we get demoted to 1Q if we go below 1,500. But we don't get back into lower tournament sections. We are playing against strong opposition, and we'll give it our best. So, yeah, thanks uh, again to my opponent for this analysis. Sorry I got flustered, but, like, Everybody wants to fix it on the end of the game, and I'm just like, please, can we practice studying from the beginning? Especially when I did stu start studying from the beginning, and like my opponent and other folks went elsewhere. I just, herding cats on the internet's difficult. It's much easier to analyze in person. So, um, I guess I'll just have to learn to be more careful with how I phrase things at the end. And maybe be more assertive and say, let's study from the beginning and just really assert that we want to do that. Not just do it, but also repeatedly assert that this is a good thing for us to do. I know it came off as a bit passive-aggressive, and it was that um, that I was asking, like, I was not commenting as he was going through all these variations. Usually after a minute or two, um, they calm down and let us speak, but anyway, um, yeah, it was an exciting game. Uh, yeah, hopefully future games will be more accurate. So, look forward to seeing other people's games in the same tournament, and I look forward to also seeing Shogi Harbor's uh, live streams each Sunday morning. So, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching this.